When word spread that the ZGDX team was looking for female players, the majority of screen names got into heated arguments. When discussing the situation, the majority of netizens who consume Melon asked questions about nursery rhymes. Additionally, that ZZDX members talked about including nursery rhymes from the internet in the training room. When the doorbell rang, Lu Sifting erroneously assumed that the nursery rhymes were being delivered, so he picked them up and turned around. Everybody gained from the web that the new player's nursery rhyme was right outside until Xiaopang acknowledged something was off base. Xiaopang let the new teammate's nursery rhymes into her new bedroom by opening the door. The pink decorations initially confused the nursery rhymes, but straight boy Xiaopang pretended to introduce the new house and the rhymes could only respond. Before he left, Xiaopang didn't forget to turn around to support the nursery rhymes. At the point when the nursery rhyme went into the room once more, it quickly talked about his ongoing elements. There were no words for a day and it was nighttime. After the nursery rhyme assured the parents that they were safe, the father immediately called the video. Throughout the video, the father began to mention the nursery rhyme. If this is insecure, you can unwind. Tama began to count the girls as soon as the father and girl spoke a few words. The failed to remember nursery rhyme withdrew to the bed to peruse the ZZDX pamphlet after hesitantly switching off the video. Throughout the evening, I was perplexed. The nursery rhyme was awoken in the morning by the alarm clock. The nursery rhyme that entered the parlor looked around at the empty space and started looking for food. ZGDX's auntie ended up returning from shopping, and both of them momentarily talked. The nursery rhyme began to handle his own tasks on his own in this way. As he entered the living room, Xiao Fatty, who had not yet adjusted, was wearing pants. When Xiao Fatty saw the nursery rhyme, he made a joke, and the newly recovered Xiao Fatty screamed and ran away. Hence, the associates got up reliably and went to the parlor for breakfast. Like Xiao Peng, Cheng was unaware that the team had a female player, which made the atmosphere immediately embarrassing. Cheng claimed to get back to the room in harmony. A little while later, the gathering boss Xiao Ru conveyed the past mid-single Miojin to see everyone. While yelling the nursery rhymes, Xiao Ru spoke for a moment. The nursery rhymes authoritatively joined the group when they marked the agreement. Additionally, Xiao Ru coordinated Brother Cheng bringing nursery rhymes to purchase necessities. Sibling Cheng needed to concur on the grounds that he was unable to dispose of it. After they left the house, the two of them froze. As the indicated mud bodhisattva really had a three-point fire, Cheng Xian and Yang Quirk successfully invigorated Tong Yo's shock. Jia, a computer-based intelligence, and Liang Sheng, a pair of friends from Nursery Rhymes, appeared right now. They were YQCB's mid-range allies and allies. As the Nursery Rhyme enthusiastically introduced him to his friends, Cheng Cheng remained indifferent. After a short discussion between the two gatherings, they chose to play a cordial match. Subsequent to Qin Cheng left, man-made knowledge Jia wandered forward and beseeched each other, asking the Nursery Rhyme to laud herself before her darlings. Computer-based intelligence Jia thought about it in the wake of figuring out the explanation. Sibling Cheng rolled over and yelled nursery rhymes to get in the car while the two were visiting. Sibling Cheng took a look at the nursery rhyme as he was driving to the shopping center and squeezed the back of the lift. Unexpectedly, he thought back to the first time the two of them had met that day. However, the nursery rhyme stubbornly refused to let it out, and the two people continued to argue in the streets. The short nursery rhyme was unable to reach the shoes on the rack while picking something. Cheng, who couldn't withstand anything else, just needed to help. The two kept on speaking with each other. Cheng concealed water by using the grocery store. The story provoked the nursery rhyme for being short, and subsequently it out of the blue ended up being clear to the nursery rhyme that the water criminal he detested was before him. The two before getting in the car were surrounded by a lot of fans following the checkout. In response to fan inquiries, Cheng provided a staff member's explanation of the nursery rhyme. The miserable nursery rhyme expected the job of photographic artist. The two of them got back in the car and taught the younger ones from their predecessors. Everyone in the studio picked up the nursery rhymes to officially join. Also, Myojin calmly made sense of a portion of his past involvement in nursery rhymes, which is the way he 